morning everybody welcome back this is Gina I'm on to part four of the December daily so um, tried to get a little more organized oh that last one was a doozy wasn't it so okay what I've done is I've went ahead and kind of flipped through on some places I want to add things and I've went ahead and cut them just you know, so you guys don't have to sit here and watch me digging out things. Because as I said, my space is super small. <laughs> so, really, the whole purpose of this series is is just to show you how to construct and alter a book into the December Daily. And then also with like the little bonus of how to do the hidden spines. Everything else, you know, you, you're going to adapt it and do it the way you want and generally you know if it's for yourself or family you might want to add more or less so as I said this is going to be a very simple pockets and things um, and then we will complete this so I went ahead I just cut a little very simple pocket here um, this is on the hymnal sheet and then I thought on the back I'll have another larger pocket that we can add some things to. And I thought I better go ahead and grab my Christmas goodies because um, out of sight, out of mind, as you as you know. So I've grabbed a few things that I'm going to tuck into these pockets and um, while we're gone because I'll sure enough forget about it, guys. So my plan this year like I said, is to finish this up, and then if I've got time, I'm probably going to do one large Christmas journal uh, to add to the shop this year. And um, the reason being is that I want to, I've had, you know, I've been on some courses, and there's some techniques I want to incorporate into a big journal. Um, So that is my plan, if I if time allows. But I know after I finish these December dailies, I'm going to want a break from Christmas. So I'm just going to play it by ear and see if I'm going to have enough time to even do it. If not, uh, it'll be on my to-do list for, for next year. Okay, so I've got a few little things. These are the little Tim Holtz. I've had these for ages. Um, and I just dug those out, so I'm just going to start tucking in a few things here and there. And then we'll come back and fill it in. This is going to need a large tag. So I think what I'll do here is just go ahead and get a few Christmas stamps out that we can... I'm just going to stamp a few of my Christmas stamps on there. I don't buy a lot of Christmas stamps. That's not going to be large enough. I think I've got a big. Let me stamp this. Um, as I said, I don't have a lot of Christmas stamps because I don't generally do the Christmas journals. Um, the only thing I tend to do is, is the Christmas cards. So <clears throat> the ones that I do have, I try to purchase stuff that's that's got a lot of elements that can be used rather than... Now this is a very nice stamp. This is an, another indigo blue, and if you're not familiar with that, that's a UK uh, stamp company, and they do have beautiful stamps. Uh, so, I really like that stamp. I've had that for several years. I don't know if they retire their stamps or not. Um, 
The last time I was on their site, they didn't seem to have as many stamps as they used to, uh, which is unfortunate because they do have some really nice stamps. So I don't know. I don't know if any of these would still be available or not. Okay, so I'm going to set that to the side. I still got to stamp something on this one. That's a shame. That's not going to fit either. <laughs> Everything I'm thinking of is not going to fit. So, oh well. Let me get some different colored ink. I don't have a lot of different colors. I used to have all of the um, Stampin' Up ink pads, but when I started getting away from it, because I kind of got out of uh, crafting for a little while, and when I did, I just chose to keep the colors that I knew I would use, and the rest of them I just did a de-stash because... I knew they would just end up drying out. Um, so yeah, I'm just down to a few colors. Um, I do like their ink pads. And that's one of them I kept. That and the olive, olive green. Old olive, that was it. Old olive's what they called it. And that, um, I really like both of those colors for Christmas, so I hung on to those and I bought the reinkers so that I knew, you know, I knew in case they ever did um, retire the colors, I'd have the ink for a while. As I said, my craft supplies have been well traveled because <laughs> I used to, um, you know, try to go home for extended periods. But I can't really do it now. Um, and when I would go, I would um, take some of my supplies with me because my dad lives way out in the country and he doesn't have internet. And <clears throat> I don't know what it is with old people. They like to watch the news all day. So it's like, oh my gosh. As soon as he gets up in the morning, he grabs the remote, puts it on the news channel, and that's where it stays. Unless I get desperate, and then I take the remote and say, Dad, do you mind if I change it? Oh, no, that's fine. Take the remote, and I hide it, because, the he, you know, he's got dementia. And um, he's fine with me changing the channel, and then he'll forget if the remote is sitting there, and he'll just automatically flip it back over to his news channel. So... To keep my sanity, I would take some craft supplies um, and just craft away. So, okay, so we've got that. This little pocket we had made the little angel tag for. Let me just distress that a little bit. I don't know why I didn't do that before, but. And then I've just pulled. These were some little flash cards. Oh yeah, Go Fish. That's what it was that um, Dollar Tree had one Christmas. So I'm just going to tuck that in there. Just And then here I've got a little flip up corner tuck. So let me stamp something inside here. So yeah, it's it's sad, but you gotta you gotta find humor 
in things when I'm at my dad's, you know, usually in the evening. I mean, he has terrible, terrible, he's got satellite dish. And um, in the evenings, I try to find something like Lifetime movies to try to get him interested in something so he'll stop flicking the channels. And um, I'll put it on a movie. Uh, Dad, you want to watch a movie? Yeah, 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 that'd be nice. Put it on. I might... I, you know, you can look at him and tell he's watch he's watching it, but he's not really following. And uh, I'll get up and go to the fridge or something to get a drink or a snack. Come back, he's changed the channel. So <laughs> it's just uh, it's just. You wonder what goes through their minds, honestly. But he's super, super laid back. Um, versus Paul's mom, who's got it. And wow, she is just evil. And uh, that's putting it nicely. She has just... The stunts she has pulled since we've been back here is just unbelievable. And she's got early stages of dementia, but that's not that's not the cause of her wickedness. <laughs> so <clears throat> it's just all getting a bit too much for me. Because <laughs> I'm the one that's in the firing line, you know. The sons can never do any wrong. So but isn't it, it's just funny how different some old people just kind of mellow out with age and then others, um, which I knew this because I used to work in the nursing home for physical therapy for several years I did that. And, um, you know, you see all sorts. Yeah, hang on, this, this is not wanting to stick that top corner. Let me clamp it and we'll come back to that because I kind of had, I made this ahead of time with some scrap strips of um, leftover paper. So that was like the only place that was going to fit. So I'm going to leave that and we'll come back to that. All right. So here, I'm going to leave that for... Oh, yes, we, oh, we we're going to decoupage. Okay. Yeah, guys, I'm not going to get around to that. Yeah, I don't think on this. But that is what I'll do before I end up um, giving this out. But that's, that's what I'm going to do with that one. You've seen decoupage, so we won't bother with that. I added this little, just another bit of extra, um, scrapbook paper. So we're just going to add some lace to that. I don't think that will fit in that pocket. Hmm, that'll just fit there. Yeah, I tell you what, I'll put that one in there. So, <clears throat> I've been checking on flying back home, and um, I'm going to probably go ahead and book something to go back um, in, I think I'm going to be going back in October. <sighs> it's been so long, guys. Um, it's been, you know, it was December last year before since I've been home. And that was not the intention because I was supposed to go back and... Uh, I'm going to stick this in this one. I was supposed to go back 
in April. Paul and I both, we had everything booked. Um, we were going to go to D.C. to see my son, down to my dad's, and then I was going to, because my daughter's like two and a half hours from my dad, um, I was. I then had booked us a couple of Airbnbs just outside of Tallahassee, so that because my daughter, she lives in. Her and her husband have an RV, a fifth wheel that they live in, so they don't have room to put us up. So, uh, yeah, coronavirus struck and uh, we lost everything. So that was definitely a bummer because. I was planning to get back twice this year because, you know, with Dad in the condition he's in, he's got the heart issues and um, he's pretty advanced with dementia. I don't know how long, it, you know, we got. And you do, you just every day you're, you're just holding your breath thinking, man, I hope I don't get a call today. So, um, I just, I just want to get on that plane. Oh, Lord, I want to get on that plane. Okay. Can. Yep, that's, that's done it. So that's good. Now this one, I'm going to go ahead and get a little bit of ribbon in that. And then I'll have to do that other one off off camera because it's just I totally forgot about that one guys and uh, I it would be too much to drag all that out I like how that tags come out it's really simple but I like the little image on there that bird's cute I'm going to put a strip of washi just because I've got this and as I said I really want to start using this stuff up and that would add a little bit of color to that as well so yeah um, and my son yesterday we talked and he's considering coming over and I'm nervous for him to book the flight because the UK is, they're changing their minds almost hourly on who can and can't come in and who can and can't leave. Oh, I'm so fed up with it. I mean, they're just trying to keep people in such a state that, that nobody wants to do anything because you don't know. <laughs> you can't make any kind of plans. So I'm trying, I want him to come. I really, really want to see him, but I'm so afraid that he's going to end up losing um, his money on the flight. I'm going to tuck that other little card there. So yes, like everybody else, you just feel like you're in limbo, constant limbo. Okay, here, okay, this was that envelope that we've decided we're going to have a, talk, a, a pocket up here. So what I've done is I've went ahead and stitched a little pocket onto paper. And how I do mine, guys, because you don't want to have anything that inhibits your tag coming in and out. I put a bead of um, glue just on the edge around and then on the perimeter is what I'm trying to say and then that way and then I put a little bit in here to hold it I know I tend to do my envelopes different to everybody else uh, most of the people I've seen leave this as you're opening I don't like it that way personally and it's it's just the way I've always done it so but if you, I, I have done those in the past, accidentally glue the whole back of this, and that, you know, then defeats the purpose of 
what you're trying to do. Actually, I just think I've got something. I'm going to pull this little card. I think it'll stand out a little bit better in that pocket there. So, we're going to want a nice big tag there. So let me get that stamped. This one, I think I can, yeah, I can use that one. This one. I love this saying. It says, a snowflake is winter's butterfly. I just, I, when I saw that um, stamp, I just had to have this set. It's just, I just love that saying. It's really, really sweet. So yes, it's it's really warmed up here in the UK, guys. Wow, today they're predicting uh, 87 degrees here, and um, it's the UK is a very humid place. So I think you can imagine how unbearable that's going to be with. Uh, High humidity. Okay, Dougie, get that set to the side. Oh, I'll tell you what I'm going to do there. Let me just grab a little scrap of, let's see. Yep, let me get a little piece of fabric, guys, because I think a piece of torn fabric is going to look nice on that. So I've been thinking about the cover, and I have decided to go, <laughs> no surprise, I've decided to go a completely different way with it, guys. I hope that you're going to like what I'm going to do, um, and it's... It's a first for me, so we are going to be learning together on how to do it. Nothing complicated. Uh, it's just I'm thinking I'm going to like the look of it much, much better. Okay, so this is the back of the envelope. And what I'm going to do here is a double pocket. So I think I'll do that in a separate um, video because there's a couple of things I need to prep ahead of time. And uh, 
I don't think it's going to be overly complicated, but I think you'll like it. I really do. Um, hopefully you will as well. All right, guys, I'm going to have to stop this and restart because we're running out of time on my uh, SD card, so I will be right back. Okay, guys, I've got a few stickers here that I thought would be nice to just start adding. can't believe how um, these are um, gift tag but I thought this would be really cute um, just to spruce up these pockets a little bit just adds a little and see how simple um, but it they really are cute I think so let's see what was I talking about sorry I lose my train of thought the cover yeah, I hope you guys are going to like the change in it, but I'm just, I really like the, um, see I've got these others, but they're dimensional, so I'm thinking I'm going to use these for something else. <clears throat> I've got some of these, I'm going to add a little bit here and there. Um... So yeah, we'll do that uh, tomorrow. And I'm probably not going to fill every pocket, guys, just like I said. Because otherwise this is just going to be too, too full. Now another thing I did, I had the, a lot of the extra fabrics. I've just done kind of like a snippet pocket. So at some point in here... I don't know, I'm going to have to go back through and decide where to put that. Now this is another... Ah, yeah, this is our flip out music page. And I thought what I'm going to do is just glue that down so that that just becomes a folding long pocket here. So what I'm going to do is I want to glue that down, and I've already notched out so that it'll be easy to get the tag in and out. Just want to get that glued down really well, otherwise the tag will catch on that. glued and then that one will be done. So I'll probably need to make a tag. If it's an odd shaped tag like that, I'll probably go ahead and make that um, before that's sent out. And then this side, I'm going to put another pocket here. Gosh, I'm making a mess here today. So, I'm trying to think if, um, 
doesn't seem like anybody's doing a whole lot this year. I have to say, um, I've had very few people talking about vacations. Let me just get my little... This is one of those uh, adhesive erasers. Yeah, I just don't think people are doing anything from from what I've seen. Okay. This is the other, um, the back side of the other Christmas card. And remember I said I want to cover this. So I'm going to do a little side pocket there. And I've already made um, a, a small pocket here. But I'm going to keep this open so it can be serve as another large pocket as well. Okay, so let me stamp. I'll tuck that in there and I'll just put a little stamp. Actually, I've got the stickers. I'm just going to put that on, on that little tag. I'm just little by little running across stuff because I had purchased these little Tim Holtz Christmas um, tokens. I ran across those this morning and thought, oh, I must lay that out to rem remind me um, to use those. So I'm probably going to want to go back and add that to that, maybe that large tag I made. That might be nice. Whew, gosh, guys, it's getting so hot in here. Whew, I'm going to have to turn the fan on in a minute. I meant to do that before I started, but I was afraid that the noise from it would, would just, you know, not be good on the, the video, but I am burning up now. <laughs> uh, alrighty, that's so sweet. Uh, let's see, what do we got here? Got a couple of, this is just another very plain tag there. Got that one. Oh yeah, let me go back and add. I'm going to add that uh, token. Oh gosh. Whew. If you hear, hear me hit the floor, guys, <laughs> you'll know I passed out. Come on, come on, come on now. Sorry, guys. I can't see that way, so. And I didn't cut myself with a long enough string. I do that all the time. Do you guys do that? You think you've got enough, and then now, look at how I'm struggling with this. It's just ridiculous. <laughs> I forever do that. I cut stuff too small and then I'm so stubborn. It's like, I'm not going back and cutting another piece. <laughs> I think you guys are starting to get an idea of what kind of chaos goes on in my studio. <laughs> it's just, um, but this is the way I create. So I just hope you guys are able to follow it because I know it's... Um, it's not as orderly as um, most people. I'm thinking, let me see. Yeah, I'll tell you where I'm going to go with this little snippet pockets right there because these 
feel like they need a little something. I can feel that this is getting chunky already, guys. Whew. And I've got to get a pocket for the little um, shaker. going to be a small pocket. Actually, you know what? That might fit on the back. Yeah. Oh, I like that. I, I'm thinking I might come back. Let me see if I can do it now. I feel like that ought to have just a tiny little Oh, look at that. It looked like a Christmas ornament. Oh, yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to put that there. And let me just distress it a little bit. There's a little sticker. So let me see. Sorry, guys. Let's add a little snippet of lace. That might be my favorite pocket in the whole thing. Oh, sweet. And then we got that. Got another little Mrs. Cog journal. Oh, okay. Let me just flip back here because I think the shaker, I'm just going to tuck him in there because that fits good. There's another little, little tag there. And then let's put... One of these gingerbread houses. There. Alright, so where are we, guys? I think. Oh, I think we may be done. And look at that. I was so trying not to bulk it out, but it's still, still done it. Hmm. Oh well, I'm not going to fuss about it. i tell you what I do want to do though. I want a few more strips of this washi on a few of these plainer pages. Just to add a little bit more color. And again, you know, probably should leave this for other people to do, but I want to use this stuff up. It just feels like these these are a bit plain. I, I just want to get a little bit more color in here. Okay, where is this? There we go. Okay, dokey, do, do, do. Alright, I want to look back through it, guys. I just want to make sure. Seem to have done. Ah, yep, okay. We gotta do something there. See, this is where I wanted a big. Alright, let me see if I've got a big tag <laughs> cut already, guys, so you won't have to sit here and wait.
Okay, there we go. There's two. That's, that one's a little bit big, so I'm just going to snip that off. Oh, that's rude. Look at that. Let's see how simple, guys. So keep an eye out for um, Walmart, Dollar Tree, probably Poundland in the UK. I don't know. I don't get to go there anymore. Um, but I would imagine any of those places have got these kinds of stickers and uh, that has made a beautiful tag and then I've got some of this um, Baker's twine but it's got the metallic that was on clearance at uh, Michael's so I picked that up I really like that tag. This one I'm going to do with washi tape because I've seen um, several people do that and why not? Why not? Just going to make one up really quick here. See how I'm doing it. Boy, this is going to be a long video, guys. I'm sorry. I mean, it just it takes what it takes. And then in this, the next part will be the final part. We'll do that cover. I'm so excited to do it. Oh, goodness, that one. I don't even know. Let's see. That's... Let's start with this one. So I'm just going to go across and then we'll snip off the extra bit. I love this one with the sweaters. Isn't that sweet? And let's see. These here. Ah, I like it. I really like it, guys. Oh, yes, one last thing. I'm so sorry. I've got three of these. And... I don't think it would be a December daily without Jingle Bells. <laughs> so I'm going to add those. Onto the tabs. And then we are going to say, I think that's pretty well embellished. I didn't really intend to go this far with it, but it happens, doesn't it? 
you get into it and uh, get really excited. Okay, let's find the placement of these and then I'll come back and get those punched. I mean, I could. I think I will do one right there. go back and put one here and then I'll place the other one somewhere in the middle. Okay, I'm going to go with it here. <clears throat> oh, I so love having this punch. Because <laughs> I do like tabs. And the other, I had, I've still got a couple of tab dies, but it's so whew, time consuming to to do those on the big shop. Um, I'll still use them every now and then, but oh, this is so much easier, guys. Okay, there she is. Uh, how are we on time? Yeah, that's kind of a big one there, but I like that because I, I think it needed the sound jingling around. All right, guys, what we'll do in the next and final part is the cover, and then I'll do a final flip through because I know as you're moving through it's difficult to really see, but I'm loving how that's come out. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Take care of yourselves and um, keep smiling. Bye.